Hey everyone, it's Apache here and welcome back to another episode of Mega Aquarium, the freshwater sandbox epic kind of thing. I don't know exactly what I'm going to call this series yet. But yeah, anyway, thank you very much for joining me today. If you do enjoy this episode, please leave a like and a comment. And if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe as well. So I've left this game running for a little bit while we've been away. I've changed a couple of things around as well, so I'll, sh I'll walk you through those now. Into each of these rooms, I've added in a couple of these archways. I've pushed back the boundary, these um, these little barriers here, uh, so that we can open up these bits here for the uh, the tetra tanks. And these tetra tanks will, um, while we're in, while they are in here, they'll actually encourage people to go from room to room. And so I think that will be a good idea to to have in, especially in this area here where people are going to congregate around here because they come in from the entrance and they mill around here for a bit but then they're not really encouraged to go off into different rooms so I think this is really going to help with that. Um, also I've added in a couple more fish over here just like one electric blue damsel and some half and half chromis just to be able to pump this up just that little bit be able to get a little bit more intrigue in that tank uh, and boost this ecology poster just a little bit. Um, but we'll be boosting this a lot more now because my main aim for today I think is to try and build up this tank as much as I can and also get um, a couple more tanks in one with some science uh, stuff in it and one maybe our first freshwater tank over here as well so I think that's what we're actually going to do first we're just going to grab a Ooh, I do like these raised ones but I think no we're going to need a deep wall tank actually do we have a sunken deep wall tank. We do you have in these ones? Sunken deep wall tank. Yes we do. Okay so it's not going to be a full size one there. It's going to be one further over to there. Um, but we're not going to do anything with this just yet. I wanted to just make sure that it was all um, in place. Um, we've already got it paid for as well. But this is... I don't know. Tell you what. Let's actually do that. Let's put it into place so that it is exactly where we want it and then we can start building around it. And for now I am just going to block off this tank so we can keep the game running while we're doing everything else. Um, and then on here we want to move these around just a little bit so we've got access to there. And I think we're going to do the same over here with a new tank as well. And now what I might do is have a couple of raised tanks over here. So we'll go for two of those raised tanks. And that'll actually fit in pretty well just here. So we'll add those into there. And then we can add those bits in there. Stairs down. And let's block off this bit as well. Wow, there's a lot of lag. Does this just crash the game or something? No? Okay. That was weird. I think I'm going to have to reboot my PC fairly soon, because it has been acting a little bit slow. I don't think it's the game, although with this many mods in, the game does take a very, very long time to actually load up. At least I hope it's not the game, because that doesn't bode well for the rest of the season if we're starting to get lag already. Uh, we shall see as it goes on. I may have to cut down on the amount of mods that we have in at any one time. Um, but yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll see. Anyway, in this tank, I want to get a couple more in. In the message log here, we do actually have some stuff for sale. Including this Springer's Demoiselle, which will go in absolutely fine. So, oh wow, there's lots of them. Okay. Didn't quite want that many, to be honest with you. I only really want one in there. So... Let's add them all, and then sell the rest of them off. Because we don't actually need them, or particularly want them in there, unless they are shoulders. They're not shoulders. Um, with this one being our uh, tank just for showcasing all, all the different animals, we want to have the least amount of each different type of animal possible in there. So re ideally, we wouldn't have any shoulders in here either, because they just take up space that other unique species could take up. What other stuff do we have in here? We can get rid of that one. 
we have a, a Paluan Dwarf Gobi. Now this does require green pellets and supplements, so we'd have to get those in. Um, and a little bit of aquascaping that we can put in as well. But it looks like this one might actually be quite a good one to add in. So yes, we'll go for those ones. And they're not shoulders, so we can add these ones straight into there. In fact, I need, do need to pause. I want to go for something which will be good for money income, first of all. So I think we're going to go for the balloon shelf and then the coffee machine and then we'll start up, start opening up everything else. Uh, we looks like we already have everything up to rank 7 unlocked, which is good. So we'll go for the balloon shelf next. In here, Christina has leveled up. Brilliant. Wonderful. Oh, we need this pause, don't we? Sorry. Now we need some green pellets. Just there. We also need some supplement. Just there. And we need some rocks in here. So let's go to vegetation. So we'll look down here for some... And we could go for the live rock straight away, I suppose. And just add a couple in there. I am going to do like a big decor pass once these are all filled with the different animals. The, di the difficulty is, well, that if we start decorating it to make it look really, really nice now, then as we put more stuff in it, we may find we need to actually delete those vegetations and add new ones and change it all around. And I think I'd prefer to kind of just add stuff as we need it and then make it look really nice and pretty at the very end. Uh, I mean, the other way I could do it is just to drop a drop-off tank scenery thing in it and just call all the scenery good, and then everything else is just purely for decoration's sake. Anyway, we can press play now because that, this tank is all safe again now. And we wanted to come into here. We do only actually need one of these. So I am going to sell one of these off, like that. Yep, everything is still nice and safe. What else do we have? So we have that Paluan uh, Dwarf Gobi. So we can get rid of that one. Um, we have a two-spot uh, Baslet, which we need four of them. There are five of them available. It's a bit pricey, to be honest, and I'm not really looking at something for live shrimp. It's not the right one for this tank because it is a shoaler. And then we have a red tail butterfly fish. Um, we're not really looking at adding corals into this tank, so yep, five of these will be fine. And we can sell off four of them. So we'll go like that, and we will sell off one, two, three, and four of those. And there we go. There's another few different types of animals in there. So you've grown up to size six, okay. What does it say then? Uh, um, takes up... Additional space in the tank, eats more. Okay, yeah, yeah. That's just basic stuff. Because that's a modded fish. I wasn't sure if it added new stuff in, but it doesn't. So um, let's have a look what else we can have. I'd quite like to have these two here, these two raised tanks as freshwater tanks, which means we are going to need a new network. Um, but that's fine. We've got plenty of space around here. Uh, this isn't going to be where our big network station is, I'm probably thinking somewhere in this room or even in the next room over will be where we have our kind of big, big pumping stations and everything like that. Um, but until then, we're going to have it all localised just a little bit. So we've got the King Demoiselle, we've got the Half and Half Chromis, we have Surge Damsel here. It is a bully, so I don't think I want it in just yet. Um, we do have the Orchid Dotty Backs, which are actually breedable now. Uh, I don't want to breed them, but we can definitely add an Orchid Dotty Back in there. We have the... I can't even say that word. Sudanthius. The Sudanthius Kalura. That is... no, because that's a shoulder. Uh, I definitely don't want a dogfish in there, it takes up far too much space. And then down at the bottom here, do we have anything for the demoiselles? Doesn't look like it. I think for now, that's everything we can add in. 
So, what do we have here? We have pink triggerfish. Size 10 is a bully. We'll eat arthropods and starfish. So now I'm going to leave that one as well for now. Uh, mainly because it's size 10 actually, more than anything else. Uh, and it's a bit more of a pain to keep. <laughs> but we will definitely add all of these in later on. And then the smithy butterfly fish here. It is a wimp. So I would be choosing to have this as a wimp's tank if we do that, I believe, because I don't think any of these... Oh no, we already have wimps in there. So... Size 5? Yeah, it's actually pretty decent. So we will grab one of these, both of them actually, add those into there, and sell one of them off. Excellent. So we've got a lot more stuff in here now, although we do need some zooplankton. So I'll come into here, zooplankton, thank you very much. I'm tempted to get a live mice shrimp thing in here before we start getting some of the animals that need it in. Can we actually have it? Yes, we can. Um, mainly because at the moment we don't have too much to feed each day. So I don't think it's going to really worry too much. Uh, a bit of this guy here won't worry too much about uh, feeding. Um, but he is on fixing duty as well. So no, I am actually going to leave that. I'm going to leave that for now. Um, the reason why I would do that, by the way, is the live mice shrimp takes a few days and um, to actually come up to full power, basically. starts off with 25 mice shrimp. I think the next day it has 26 or 27. The next day it has 28 or 29. And it works its way up all the way up to 50. And when it's at 50, it's at kind of full power. You have 50 every single day and um, it's just as much as uh, is not in those ones. You see, these ones have 200, but the mice's shrimp only have 50. So it's important to get them up um, and start looking after them as soon as you can. Preferably before, before you have any fish that actually need them. Treat them as an animal in their own right, because that's pretty much exactly what they are. And then when you get your first animals, they're not going to be struggling for uh, food every day. They'll automatically have it there. So you increase your cleaning again, actually. Um, I do want to see, can I actually get somebody new? Um, oh, Alejandro, you might actually actually be quite good to get now. You're fixing five. You are very, very, very good at fixing as well. So if we get you, then you are going to be incredible when once we actually start levelling you up. And the same goes, actually, do we have... We have Dante. Um, that increases your talking. I mean, your charisma is higher than average, which does increase it. Yeah, so you get a bonus from charisma and you get a bonus from memory. You might actually be a very good one to get for the talking. But do we have anybody else? Let's have a look. Um, anybody? I'm just looking at the names, to be honest, for now. Just see if there's anybody that I recognise as being very, very good. But no, there isn't really. But yeah, I think that'll, that'll do. That's all right for that. We have a coral group of sale. That will be disastrous in that tank. So that's a no. So I'm going to take a little bit of time. I'm going to um, decide what to put in these. Uh, I'm going to go through exactly what we've got in the animals list and yeah, decide what's what we're going to do next. Okay, so I think I know what I'm going to put into this tank at least. And this is going to be our science tank. Um, well, our first of the science tanks. And so we're going to want to come back around here. Press pause for a minute because I want to move this pump over to here and add that back in. And these two will probably go on this network. Maybe, I'm not too sure about these two yet. Um, but in this tank, this is actually going to be a cold water, salt water, cold salt water tank. And so we're going to come into this menu and go down to the bottom and grab, or halfway up actually, grab another power pump, and we'll place that just there, and it'll connect in. And then we are going to want some of our 
turbo chillers. So we'll place two of those onto that, and that'll give us enough uh, filtration and chilling power in here to uh, cool this tank down. And now, in here, we've got some really interesting animals we can add in here. The first one is down at the bottom. We have this brown trout. So we have trout, salmon and char. And the brown trout, it can be stored in fresh water or in salt water. But look at the amount of different abilities or kind of needs that it has. Um, this is going to be really, really good for our science poster. So we'll add one of these in. And these grow up to size 20, so they are pretty big. So I think only one of those is actually needed in there. We're going to need some roach, but that's okay. We can get some, well, just now, actually. Why not? So that'll go into there. And we're going to need a little bit of rock. But we've got a few more things to add into here yet. And so if we have a look at the list, we're looking for cold water. Um, the only things in the fresh water at the moment are this brown trout and the banana slug. Um, we're not going to have a banana slug in yet. That requires the acid. Um... And it's going to be a bit of time before we get to that. But here, if we have a look down the list or up the list, we will find the blue crab, which will actually go in with this guy just fine. It's crustacean, greedy, armoured, adding lots more different things in and requires supplement. Uh, we've already got the orange pellet, so that's good. Um, so we'll add one of those in. And then if we have a look just a little bit further up, we have the Alaska Pollock. So it requires a little bit of open space. Needs three of them in there. So I'll add three of these in. Um, now I don't know if these add anything new actually, do they? Uh, yes, we do. We have Plant Lover. So we've got Plant Lover here and open space. So we go one, two, three of those. And then finally, we have this lesser spotted dogfish up here as well, which is rock lover, cave lover, plant lover, um, and we'll eat various different... Ooh, we'll eat size 10. What do these grow up to? You're just complaining about not liking rock. But I need to have a look at what the others grow up to. So you're... Oh, you are an arthropod. Okay, that's changed. Right, that has changed. Because I remember that being crustacean, but it has now changed to... Um, arthropod. So, you, Mr. Blue Crab, cannot be in there, unfortunately. Now we just need to have a look at what size the Alaskan, sal sa uh, Alaskan Pollock grow up to. So you are there, size 16, that's okay, because these will only eat up to size 10, and these will grow up nice and quick compared to these ones. So it's a bit of a shame about the blue crab, um, but everything else should be okay. So I, that's something I'm definitely going to have to remember um, going on in this series. I'm definitely going to forget that, and we will probably end up losing some arthropods rather than crustaceans. Because I'm so, so used to uh, it being called arthropods. So I'll add one of these in as well. Now, you don't like the lack of vegetation. That's fine. We'll get you sorted. Uh, we do need some krill. So we'll get the krill. We'll go that. And we also need some of this live lugworms. Now, this is what I was saying before. I really should have done this before we actually added these guys in. But having it right next to the zooplankton will help out a lot and I think what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to put that on there that on there and we'll have a live mysis shrimp one saved just for there so in here we're going to need some uh, rock some cave and some vegetation uh, we may end up adding some more stuff into this over time so I don't want to fill this up too much um, but I might actually add in some say like flat slate there That'll actually clear the rock needs. And then come back into here. Ooh. It's just a very large, flat rock. <laughs> um, I, like, I like these new things that have been added in. These add just a little bit of cave. We need two cave in total, though. 
Um, these would be way, way overkill. So I think maybe just a rocky overhang with some kelp. We'll add that in. And then we're going to need a little bit more of the vegetation. So we'll go with some bullhead kelp. Just like that. Okay, so that is everything we need for that. We can now open this place up. I'll have a look at some different decor items as well we can add into these. So let's have a search for decor. And we'll put a pagoda into there. And we'll add a pirate, pirate chest into this one. And we'll press play. We've got plenty of stuff here. Oh no, one more thing just before we do press play. We want to have some facilities. The science poster attached to this tank just here. Press play and they can get up all of the different prestige and science points because we are desperately going to need some science in the very near future. So we've just got a message that there are some koi fish for sale here. 861 free koi fish. They are cold water, salt water, and they will grow up to size 13 so they will be safe in here but I do need to put these in quite quickly because they won't be safe for that long. So we'll add those into there and we'll sell off two of them because we only want one in there. I'm going to need a little bit more vegetation so we'll add a little bit of fan wart in there as well. Uh, this brown trout doesn't like it because... Oh, okay, it needs a 2x2 two two space. So that fan wart needs to move over to there. Okay, now he likes it. And press play. Okay, that makes, makes this up to 300. We can definitely get this higher, but probably not with this size of tank. And I believe we're going to need to have a freshwater uh, tank to make the most out of these science and ecology posters. As you know, the ecology one will be just be one massive tank with all of the different damsels and all the different da uh, demoiselles in that tank. That's my main aim for that one anyway. But you can have up to three of these ecology posters and three of the uh, science posters within your aquarium before your guests start to actually get annoyed with them. Um, at four, you'll start losing the interest, and then at five, they'll actually start complaining. So we can actually have a fair, fair few of these dotted around the place, and it shouldn't matter too much. But we will probably dedicate one room specifically to having two big tanks with all of the different things we need for um, all the demoiselles, and then all of the freshwater stuff as well. That's probably what I'm going to do with that. So in this tank, the brown trout has now just grown and can actually eat animals of up to size uh, 8. And this koi fish here is size 4. So we're actually going to need to open up one of these tanks as a bit of a nursery tank. And so we will join this onto there. We're just a little bit under on the, um, on the filtrate, well on the chilling now. So we'll actually go into here down here we only need a little one we just need the nano chiller we'll add that onto there and we will move this koi carp or koi fish into this tank over here we'll then delete these just to there and then we'll add in a little bit of vegetation a bit of feather carpura and a live rock or two. There we go. And now we can open up again. So the koi fish is going to be safe until it grows back up. Uh, well, grows up, and then it can be placed back into this tank over here. And we'll be able to get our full complement of science again. So we're down now. Oh no, we're actually still at 300. This hasn't actually given anything to this tank. Maybe we keep it in here for a while? I don't know. We'll see. So I've been going through some of this early game research here, the rank 1, rank 2, rank 3 stuff. And it means we've got a few more of these demoiselles and damsels to be able to put into the tank here. So I'm going to grab the sulphur damsel there. So in here we have a decent amount of fish in there, but how much uh, are we getting? As you can see it's very very quick to go through these. 
Uh, we are getting 400 at the moment, but that is about to go way, way up. Because I'm going to pause the game so that this doesn't go absolutely crazy. We're actually starting to get a decent amount of damsels now. So we can put one of those in, an azure damsel. Uh, we already have one of those. We have the Sturge Damsel, damsel which we can't add in. Um, we have this one we're not going to add in. Let's keep it running. Oh yeah, we have the Yellow Tang and the Pygmy Angelfish. So we can add one of those in and Pygmy Angelfish, one of those in as well. What else do we have? Let's have a look down the list. Uh, that might be it for now. Oh no, we have the Sulpa Damsel and the um, Starks Demoiselle. We can add these in as well. There's the Sulpa Damsel. And so now we're actually up to 650 in this, which is brilliant. Really, really nice amount. Uh, but of course there is a huge amount more to go as well. So I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go through some of this really early game research. It's stuff that we desperately need to do. Um, and we need to get some of this science stuff worked out as well. Desperately need to get more science in here as well. So I'm going to have a look through and see if there's any other science animals we can add in. Uh, Gitty Dumps over here. So let's just have a look, see if there's anything decent with the science. Um, these kind of slugs and snails and stuff might actually be quite cool to put into one of these raised tanks. Um, but yeah, I can't really see anything here. I mean, there's, there's some decent stuff here. Would, um, hmm. Thinking of my I might put something temporary like these into this raised tank. Just to boost up our science a bit. And it'll be interesting as well to see if there's anything more we can add into this tank over here. They do need to be quite big fish. We can't add arthropods in. We have actually limited ourselves quite badly over here with what we have. Um, however, there may be something. I mean, these are arthropods. Um, let's just have a look at the, let's say the rank 7 stuff. See if there's anything in here. Um, cuttlefish could go in there, although I don't think there's any new stuff for the science poster there. I think we're going to have to get into fresh water if we really want to boost up that. I mean, look at this, just the amount, the sheer amount of stuff you can get on some of these fresh water animals is crazy. However, I do want to get this California two spot octopus in as soon as I can, really. Um, it is up to size 12. So it will be able to go in there. I actually think we, we go for this one. Because then... Well, it is also armoured. So it can probably... I've got to remember to have a look at the armoured. The armoured is something which I don't tend to think about too much when I'm going for these um, kind of tanks with the different animals that can eat other animals. And yeah, it's really something that I do need to keep an eye on. Because um, it means that that can definitely go in here. It'll be size 26 rather than size 13. Be no problem at all. Anyway, this koi fish is not armoured. <laughs> so we've still got... Oh no, like half an hour before it grows up. There we go. It has now grown up to its full size. So this guy can actually now go straight back into there. And they will be fine in there now and then we can block off this tank again we can actually get rid of that one and we can come into here and remove it from there okay that's everything back to normal so yeah let me do a bit more of this research i'll get this uh california two spot octopus into this tank first of all because I believe it will need to grow up at least to its first or second stage before we can add it in um, but we are still at 300 there um, but it would be really nice to do that and then we can actually have a talk for the two spot octopus as well and you will get cleaning 
Yeah, because I want to get um, some of the talks underway because I know that two spot octopus is worth about 20 pre prestige for a single talk. So we have now got the California two spot octopus researched. So we can pick the next one. We're going to go back to getting some of these smaller fish because we do need to get those out of the way as soon as possible. And we're going to place this guy into this tank over here. So let's just do a search. I think I'm going to have to get used to using the search a huge amount because uh, there's so much in this mod pack that it's going to be difficult otherwise. So we'll get one of those in there, we'll place him in just there and we'll set this back up to be on cold water with a bit more um, filtration. So we'll come down, I like using mine, so I'll keep on using these for now. We'll place that one there, we'll use a different one now. So this is the, uh, we used the Mark Zero before, this is the Mark One, I have a cryo tank. I do love the, uh, the designs on these, I spent a long time on them and I think they came out really well. So we'll get rid of this again and we need to get some crab and a little bit more cave as well. Actually no, a lot more cave. We're going to cheat with this one, well not cheat, but we're going to use the, um, the, the big guy, the uh, rock drop off scenery and we'll use this one why not so that will go down at the front just there and yeah we're going to use this as a bit of a nursery tank for now uh, we do need some crab so let's come into here let's grab some crab and place that I suppose on this side where all the rest of them are yeah that'll be fine and you will need to be fed by hand. We do have um, at least one person that's at least on seven feeding, so this shouldn't be too bad. So you will be fine in there until you grow up, and then we can place you into that one. Uh, next on the list uh, for research. I'm not really looking at exactly what I'm researching at the moment, just because I want all of them. So uh, I'm just picking essentially the next one making sure it's on rank 2 and then whatever's at the top of the list and it'll go through nice and quickly so now we want to add in the torque this is going to take well, we're nearly finished on rank 2s so that's good because we're down to the last page of them at least um, just wait because I know this one is going to come up okay and it's all just going to come up really nice and quickly so what I will do Wait for it to pop. Really? Thank you. There you go. <laughs> and now I am going to go for something a bit more um, big because we need to get something. Um, I need to get this sorted. So I want to wait for this. Keep a big timer on this so that I've got, actually got time to get this sorted out. I want to get a podium in. Uh, just pause the game whilst I'm doing this so that um, we have time to do it because I want to start it at 9 o'clock in the morning we want to go with the California two spot octopus um, and we will have this two days in between and I want to actually just pull this out just slightly okay that's good and we need a mic stand at the back here uh, so that's in here come down to mic headset we'll put one of those back there I believe we have at least one member of staff I have got some more people now so you are actually going to be on talking max oh no we have Flora here what's your skill we have Flora and Xavier your talking skill is two so your total is 22 your talking skill is one and your total is 18 okay yeah so Flora is going to be our main talker for now. That's fine. Yep, so we can play and you are just going to grab the mic headset. Yep, excellent. So we'll start getting a decent amount of prestige income now as well. Um, and I suppose it's actually a good time to talk about kind of what we're going to do in the first few episodes of this series because um, they are going to be a bit more slow <clears throat> and the kind of the speed of the game will speed up as we go on. So these first few episodes are, are going to be actually be very very slow and I'm going to stick around this area, build up this area a bit. But my main thought with this bit 
is that it is going to largely be a temporary area. This is our kind of temporary foyer while we build up some of the resources that we need, all of the, the research that we need. And so I'm going to be very, very heavy research focused and I want to get up to rank 8 basically as soon as I possibly can. So I'm going to be focusing on um, as many prestige talks as I can, putting as much decorations uh, into these tanks as I can. We will actually put another tank over here so we've got some more uh, more prestige income and um, try and get that underway. And I want to try and do as much of this backfill research as I possibly can as well. So that's my main thoughts for the first few episodes of this and then we'll actually start getting into the, the real stuff, getting all of these extra rooms um, as different themes, so say this one could be a, an Aztec room, this one could be like a beachfront scene, um, this one could be like a futuristic sci-fi type one with the uh, sleek, I think we've got lots and lots and lots of different paints in here. So we can design these rooms however we want um, and make them look really really cool. I'm also interested in making an outdoor room, um, so it'll be like grass on the floor and we'll have trees and stuff around and it'll make it look really nice and cool um, and then we'll have the floor tanks as like um, fish ponds <laughs> in the um, <clears throat> in the grounds of some big building that's, that's my main thought with that so there is a lot to be looking forward to but the uh, the compositions that I've, that I've been talking about the kind of the design the room and sponsor of fish and stuff. I won't be starting for the first few episodes uh, at least. I don't know exactly know when I'm going to be asking for those submissions. Um, so keep an eye out on my channel. Um, join me on Discord um, in the Mega Aquarium uh, official Discord, which the link is down below. If you're not joined up there, make sure you are. It's a very, very good community and you can talk to me on there. I'm on there pretty much all the time, to be honest, when I'm not playing this. I'm available to talk to anyway. Um, so yeah, you can give me your thoughts and kind of direct feedback on there um, if you don't want to do the YouTube comments. <laughs> so this guy has actually grown up now. He's probably, he is actually big enough to stick into this tank. But I think we're going to keep him over here for now. We're going to make a bit of a, um, a thing about trying to get people pushed towards this way as well, which the talks definitely will do. You can see that they are kind of hovering around the entrance. And I think one reason for this is because they come in from here and they start their pathfinding. And there's a lot of areas here where their pathfinding can go to immediately. I'll go, actually go for the feeding stick next. And so if they pathfind to here, there's also they could next pathfind over to here, and then over to here, and then over to here. And then they'll bump up against here, and then back to here. And so yeah, there's a lot of areas over here where they can just wander around for ages and then get bored and then go home. <laughs> so the only times they really come out to here is when they're hungry or when they're bored and they're looking for something else to do. So I may have to change this entire area around um, and maybe we may end up having to move all of this back and having this right next to the entrance here. But we'll see. Um, I don't exactly know how this is going to work. If I do find people are congregating around here too much, um, then we will change it over. But that, I think, is where we're going to leave it for today. So thank you very, very, very much for joining me today. If you did enjoy this episode, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe on the video and to the channel. And I will. See you next time. If you enjoyed this video, please consider supporting me by subscribing to the channel and liking and commenting on the videos. Thanks. See you next time.